Hello friends, this is Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I have the absolute pleasure to be able to shoot a video on the one of our newest arrivals to our dealership, the very first one in the Transcend Explore 297QB. Um, one thing I'll throw out before we jump into this folks, this is not an entry level trailer. Uh, the Transcend lineup by Grand Design folks is Grand Design's way of building you a superior product compared to the other uh, trailers that it would go up against in the industry, uh, but it allows them to get their price down. And I'm going to explain uh, how they do that uh, through one of the construction techniques that they use. Um, but again, this 297 QB is a bunk model. This particular travel trailer can sleep in a small army uh, of a family folks, up to 10 people comfortably inside. And I'm going to go through this entire trailer for you and show you all of the wonderful features because this trailer is totally unique and uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, this particular travel trailer is a longer one. It does measure out at 35 feet, 11 inches in length. Uh, so again, the right half ton can pull it uh, and up, of course. Um, but um, here we're gonna we're gonna jump into it so one of the things that's most noticeable on the what I would call the 2021.5 transcend is the exterior they have gone to a tri-colored alloy panel on the exterior of the trailer you'll see that through the white the gray the black um, just really enhances elevating the look of the trailer I think Greg Cody the product manager and the team done it down at Grand Design did an absolutely superb job on the exterior update of the trailer um, they're still pairing in those 3m graphics which gives you that uh, five-year warranty higher UV coating on the outside it's a thicker better graphic than what you find in a lot of the price point trailers or or entry-level uh, trailers in the industry uh, but again for Grand Design folks true to form they're the structure that they put into this particular product makes this trailer one of a kind and how they achieve that is the alloy paneling that they use on this particular trailer on the sidewall is an 030 thickness okay this, this the sidewall thickness the alloy is 25 percent thicker than what you'd find with most other products out there up front is 040 thickness so the beautiful thing about that is typically where you see most of your wear and tear on a alloy panel trailer is the front okay and so they're putting a very heavy very thick gauge alloy up front so far less chance of you know rock damage uh, hail damage on this particular trailer. We've been carrying the Transcend for three years at our dealership here in Leduc. We have had hail, zero hail damage, uh, which is a testament to, you know, in Alberta, we do get a lot of hail and, and with Grand Design, they're putting that thicker alloy so that your trailer isn't tied up in a service department getting a, an insurance claim done with, uh, with hail damage. So they're going the extra step there as well. The other thing that Grand Design does is they use their quad seal technology. So this has four layers of seal. I always tell customers, you're only as good as the seal on the outside of your trailer for moisture intrusion. Doesn't matter if you've got, you know, composite materials in your sidewall. Every trailer has wood paneling in it in some shape or form, whether it be the floor, the roof, what have you. But you're only as good as your seal. And a lot of manufacturers, um, they're still using the old classic butyl putty. And for those experienced RVers or people that have done shopping, butyl putty is a petroleum-based product. Um, it squeezes out. So when they put these corner moldings on or they mount in a baggage compartment, or a window that's the seal it's beige in color or gray and it will actually squeeze out once they screw let's say this baggage compartment in or put this corner molding on the issue is is that it doesn't look very good the dealer in a lot of cases trims that off so they're removing sealant to make it look better but the biggest issue with the butyl putty folks is that after about six months it really starts to dry out and after a year or so you'll start to develop cracks and that's where moisture intrusion can get into the sidewall of your trailer and cause moisture damage with Grand Design, you have four la layers of sealant, okay? So from the inside out, you have a Mylar tape seal, and Mylar is what they use on all of their products, and that seals in the corner, okay? That seals in the corner from sidewall to sidewall. They wrap it around, okay? Underneath the alloy paneling, they run a layer of uh, PVC foam tape. 
So underneath the alloy, it's pressed down against PVC foam tape. So with the Mylar tape seal, the PVC foam tape, um, it's really going to prevent that moisture if it you know, was to able to get past this outer layer uh, from permeating into the wall, causing, causing wood rot and wood damage. Okay. Then what they do is on the outside, because the alloy paneling isn't perfectly smooth like a fiberglass wall is, so they layer another on the outside of the alloy panel, the PVC foam tape as well, and that seals in the groove. And then they layer on a thick layer of uh, silicone called their silicone cap seal. So you've got four layers of seal on the outside of this trailer, which separates it, that one feature alone, from every other trailer in the industry bar none. Okay, uh, no butyl putty on this particular trailer whatsoever, which is fantastic. And that's a testament to Grand Design on all of their brands, okay? Um, all of the windows on Grand Design products are fully framed in because this is a wood frame construction. That window frame there, if you take that window out, it's, it's framed in with a wood, a wood frame. A lot of products in the industry, folks, that's where manufacturers will save cost and weight is by taking that structure out to get the weight down. You don't get that with Grand Design. They're building that structure in, which is what you get with their products and far bigger windows. And if you look at most Grand Design products, folks, every window opens in their trailers. There is the odd window that doesn't open based on the size of it, but I'm gonna say 95 to 98% of the windows in Grand Design trailers fully open, okay? Now, up front again, power jack, 20-pound uh, propane tanks, kind of par for the coast, uh, course for most products in the industry now today. Uh, but one of the things that Grand Design is known for, folks, is their pass-through storage compartments, okay? So on this particular product in the Transcend, you get 43 cubic feet of pass-through storage fifth wheel like storage I would call because it it's oversized and how they achieve that is they radius the front wall here okay they also give you uh, motion sensor lighting on both sides you'd be shocked how many trailers in the industry they don't put lights in their pass-through storage compartments okay the thing that they also give you is again a grand design golden thread of consistency through all of their brands in closed utility center so you've got your 110 plug coax cable for satellite and cable uh, battery disconnect switch that battery disconnect switch folks by the way when you kill that I'm gonna jump up on the roof and show you a great feature, but this solar uh, trailer is also equipped with solar. So when you have that disconnect turned off so that there's not a draw on your batteries, you're still gonna get that charge going into your batteries, which is fantastic. Also, um, you can run your fresh water line up through this porthole access, close this lid down, perfect size for your uh, half inch um, fresh water line. Uh, but it's protected, it's closed. A lot of products are still using the city water connection on the outside wall because it's cheaper to build that way. But we've seen it where, you know, the neighbor kid, you know, little Johnny, we'll call him, comes and does the Tarzan off your garden hose that's attached to the outside wall of your trailer. And all of a sudden you have a water leak. With this particular product, folks, folks you're protecting uh, your water, water hookups, which is nice. But also, let's say if you're on a big, long cross-country cross tour, you're at a campground with full hookups, you're hooked up to city water, but you don't have water in your fresh water tank, don't fret. You don't have to unhook the fresh water line and jam it into a hole on the side of the trailer to fill it up. All you do is flip this blue lever up to fresh tank fill and it will automatically fill up your 62 gallon fresh water capacity, which in a lot of cases, folks, is over double the fresh water capacity that you get in most other products in the industry. Also new for the 21.5 20, uh, is the Furion. That's, this is the charge regulator. It's a 25 amp charge controller. Um, it can handle multiple panels mounted to the top of your storage compartment. It's not taking up vital space and that's paired right up to that 165 watt solar panel up on your roof. So tons of tons of value, tons of feature content with this particular product folks. Also the baggage compartment door is oversized triple latch which is great we've seen lots of products where they just do a keyed latch and then obviously being held up magnetically as well so um, this particular trailer folks the dry weight on it as it came off the assembly line is 7168 pounds dry your cargo carrying capacity is 1787 pounds which is very it's which is impressive um, you know, average family of four is going to take 800 to 1,000 pounds worth of cargo with them. Also, the hitch weight, so depending on the payload capacity of your vehicle, your tow vehicle, the hitch weight dry is 749 pounds. So obviously you'd want to pair it with the weight right 
uh, weight distribution hitch, hopefully up to Blue Ox with a Sway Pro, which we offer at our dealership here in Leduc. And uh, we'll be able to hook you up so you have an absolutely beautiful towing experience. Okay, we're just going to shoot up underneath this particular trailer as well, folks. You'll notice the fully enclosed um, heated underbelly on this particular trailer. You'll notice that they spray foam in around all the openings where you've got plumbing and such coming out. The gate valve to drain your fresh water tank, your 62 gallon fresh water capacity, is a two inch gate valve. It's somewhere under there. Uh, it's hard to see through the screen on the camera, but you just reach down, pull a handle, and it will drain uh, quite quickly, which is nice. And again, you've got your low point drains there. Through your floor, um, R11. They're calling it on the uh, on the transcend. So, um, and again, it's heated off your 30,000 BTU furnace. There's a dedicated heat duct that pours that heat down into uh, that underbelly. So, being able to expand your um, your camping season, which is which is what Grand Design's hoping you're you're going to do with your trailer. So, we're just going to come down the side of the trailer here, folks. Couple things as I'm talking. Grand is or as I'm walking. Grand Design um, exclusive uh, since their inception have given you that three-year structural warranty. Um, they designed their product or built their product to support their three-year structural warranty, folks. They've done that right from their inception, and that's why you find a superior build with their products. Let's face it, RV manufacturers do not want to pay out warranty claims. So Grand Design looks at it through the lens of, hey, let's build a superior product that the customer is investing in so that your trailer isn't tied up in a service department and you're utilizing it and having fun but you are buying a superior product, which is great. We're at the rear of the trailer. One of the fantastic benefits to the 297 QB folks is this expansive rear trunk storage. Grand Design is starting to utilize this in a lot of the floor plans. This goes underneath the lower bunk uh, bed in the rear bunk room on this trailer. One thing to note, you do get the motion sensor lighting here as well. So, you know, note 43 cubic feet of pass-through storage up front. I think this is about 32 cubic feet of storage at the rear. Camping gear is oversized nowadays. You're going to bring a lot more with you. And with the ability to sleep up to 10 people on this particular trailer, folks, you're going to have a lot of extra gear with you, folding chairs, all sorts of things, fun games for the kids and whatnot. So um, one thing to note also, Grand Design, golden thread of consistency. They put a ladder on the backs of all of their trailers, folks. So Grand Design's perspective, they want you to be able to access the roof sweep off the top of your slide out, do some roof sealant maintenance, change a roof vent. A lot of products in the industry, folks, you'll find when you're doing your shopping still today, blows me away. In a lot of cases, you won't find ladders on the backs of the trailers because they do not build walk-on roofs, okay? So buyer beware, just be very careful with that. Grand Design, every single trailer they build, full walk-on roof and walk-on slide box, okay? Now note on the entry side of the trailer, there's no slide outs to take up any camping space. But with this particular trailer, folks, you get a 20 foot adjustable power awning. Okay. Now, one of the things I say adjustable is if it's raining and you want to, let's say, divert the water that's falling on your, your awning fabric off the back side of the, the awning, you can tilt the roller tube down and divert the water to come off this side or vice versa. You can do it towards the front as well or you can drop both arms down to give you just better shade coverage. So you've got a lot of flexibility with this awning, folks, which is great, and it is power. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, you have the exterior camp kitchen with this, with the pull-out two-burner range, 1.6 cubic foot electric refrigerator for all your cold beverages and condiments. If you're into doing a lot of that outdoor barbecuing, there is a plug-in in that little extra storage spot there for, you know, if you have an appliance or something that you want to hook up extra. But the thing that I really like about the flexibility of this, of this floor plan, folks, when you're camping, up here in Canada, we get inclement weather. We get a lot of rain, it's cooler, whatever the case is. Um, the awning covers your outdoor kitchen on this particular floor plan, which is awesome. Uh, I really like that feature. So it's totally usable with the awning, um, if it's raining, with the awning extended, of course. Okay, uh, coming down the entry side as well, you've got your spray port for cold water. If you wanna do a, you know, a nice cooking spot here, you can have a wash basin, those sorts of things. Uh, one thing to note on this particular floor plan, folks, is Grand Design on their slide out. It's a rack and pinion slide system. It's a tried, true, proven slide system. Um, if the motor was to ever fail on this trailer or you ran out of power, um, it's very easy through this little porthole right here. There's a little drive nut there. Just put a crank handle on that and just manually crank it in. Grand Design does not use cable slides on any of their products. 
They can be a nightmare to use, especially if you got to bring in your slide out manually. You got to rip apart your slide casings on the inside. It's just not a very good slide system. And there's a lot of maintenance cost uh, as the years go on. Those cables, they stretch and then you get, you know, there's just, anyway, moving on. Grand Design rack and pinion slide system on this, which is great, tried, true, proven. They've been building it for decades. Uh, or the Schwinn Tech slide, which this one doesn't have. Now the running gear on this particular product, folks, is the Dexter towing system. It's North American made. You get a five-year warranty with your axles. They're each 4,400 pound axles, 15 inch radial lion's head Westlake tire, folks, which gives you that five-year warranty. It's nitrogen filled never adjust brakes and you have the easy lube hubs so right on the end of that hub that cap comes off you can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your driveway very easy to do saving yourself hundreds and hundreds of dollars while you maintain the uh, the life of your bearings and and easy towability and those sorts of things so i'm just going to shoot back here i ran into that other trailer there but you'll note the entry door to the trailer as well. It's able to fold completely flat up against the wall as opposed to some manufacturer. Like it would be easy for Grand Design. This is a 20 foot awning. They could go to, let's say an 18 foot awning to save some money An 18 foot awnings cheaper. But what happens, your entry door would be sticking out straight like this all the time. It's kind of a pain, all right? We've seen it where awnings are set up like that where literally that awning starts to get retracted in. And if you don't have the door over far enough, the door hooks on the awning and bends your awning arm. We've seen that happen. Okay, with this particular product, folks, fully fold flat door, awning in and out, beautiful setup, no fuss, no muss, not worrying about bending your awning arms, which is great. Again, Grand Design going the extra step, triple entry step, aluminum tread, uh, lend a hand grab handle on this particular trailer as well, wider, taller entry doors all of those things that you get with Grand Design. And again, like I said, you've got that 43 cubic feet of pass-through storage up front. Tons and tons of storage here. We're just gonna head around back. I'm gonna jump up on the roof and talk about a few key features and we'll get rolling, just a sec. All right, friends, we're up on the roof of this Transcend 297 QB. I'm at the very front of the trailer and we're just gonna work our way back. Right up front here, you have a roof vent above your uh, master bedroom. Uh, but beside it, that's that 165 watt solar panel. Okay, it comes with the trailer. It's got the uh, easy uh, hookup here as well. So if you wanted to add more panels, duplicate panels to give you that extra charge, you can easily do that. It's all connected through that 25 amp charge controller and you're gonna save yourself a pile of money on your, uh, on your solar install. But one thing to note, Grand Design loads the sealant on. Okay, we've seen a lot of products in the industry over the years, folks, where manufacturers are trying to save money. They're just trying to get through the warranty, and in a lot of cases, that warranty only lasts for a year. Um, but one thing you'll find where the screws are located on the seal, a lot of times they just run a dollop of, of sealant over top of that screw head and then down each side of the, the, um, the aluminum that's under here to seal in the transition molding, okay? With Grand Design, they are layering it on thick. It's called Dicor, Lap Sealant. Uh, there's a bunch of different names for it, but you'll notice throughout the entire trailer the thickness of the sealant that they use, okay? Uh, moving our way back, one thing to note, dual skylights, okay? Skylights cost a little bit extra money to put in. You'll find a lot of trailers to save cost. They'll take it out. That skylight right there is mounted right above your shower in your, in your bathroom, and then the one behind it is right above your kitchen. So dual skylights in this trailer, allowing extra light to come on inside, okay? Uh, a vent, of course, above your, uh, above your bathroom. Right back here, this little vent here, okay? Grand Design DNA item, golden threaded consistency item is a attic vent, okay? Grand Design uses and employs the same roof construction techniques through all of their brands, okay? Snow load capable roof, walk on roof, thermal barrier roof, okay? It's a breathable roof. They do not use laminated roofs on any of their products, okay? So you don't have to worry about those, that moisture building up on the inside of your trailer, okay? That moisture will escape, the heat will escape. In your house, you have attic vents, okay? Grand Design puts them in all of their trailers, okay? This is a 15,000 BTU Furion air conditioner. That's what they're using right now. That's what they have available to them. But on this particular trailer is a 15,000 BTU and this trailer has 50 amp service as well. I mentioned full walk-on slide boxes. So again, for Grand Design folks, 
Um, if you're camping in a heavily wooded area, there's leaves that fall, pine needles, little branches. You know, you don't want to be bringing in your slide out, piling all of that into your slide seals. Okay, so one of the major benefits to having that ladder on the back, full walk-on roof, is you can access your roof with a broom, get up on top, sweep it off, get down on top of your slide out, really make sure you can do some roof sealant inspection or, or slide out seal inspection, make sure there's no rips or tears or those sorts of things, and just really maintaining your trailer properly, which is nice, okay? Um, Again, further back here, you've got your WineGuard AR or Air360 TV antenna. So this is a digital TV antenna. It's gonna suck in the local stations. Of course, that's all dependent on where you're located, how close you are to you know, um, a TV station or what have you. Um, but you can get the gateway add-on uh, device. <clears throat> and what the gateway device is, is it basically will transform your TV antenna into a Wi-Fi receiver. So if let's say you're camping at a campground that has Wi-Fi available that you can connect to, or you're visiting a relative and you're camping on their property and you can connect to their Wi-Fi, you can suck in that Wi-Fi signal, be able to stream on your Roku TV inside, Netflix, YouTube, all of those things. The gateway device is an added feature. It is an added cost. It's pre-wired for it. Um, or you can add in a SIM card from your cell phone provider and literally stream from wherever, cell phone service dependent, of course, and tie that into your cell phone plan and stream. So lots of flexibility with that TV antenna and, uh, again, the roof vent from your from your master bedroom or from your bunk room. So four roof vents, two skylights, attic vent, 165 watt solar panel, 15,000 BTU air conditioner, full walk-on slide box. Also the TPO roof membrane folks is an upgraded TPO. It's uh, done by Alpha Superflex. It's far more flexible, more abrasion resistant, comes with an 18 year warranty. So fantastic products, going the extra step. We're gonna jump down and head inside. All right, folks, we're gonna head inside. Couple of fun facts before we jump in here. Uh, again, 62 gallon fresh water capacity. Your gray tanks, which are two combined equal 78 gallons. A lot of trailers that this particular product would compete with folks still are only putting a 30 gallon gray tank in, which is just doesn't work nowadays, especially on a trailer like this that you have can you know, take 10 people with you. Uh, and then a 39 gallon black tank, one toilet, 39 gallons, okay? Uh, we're gonna jump inside and talk a little bit about the floor plan. What, one of the major things that I love about this floor plan, folks, in the 297 QB is your slide out. When it's fully retracted, you can get to your bunk room with a large opening to get in. Uh, you can access your pantry, your dinette, your sofa, your fridge, your oven and range, your sink. The only section that you lose to be unable to open is the storage underneath your sink, to the left of your sink, uh, your sink that drawer right there, and the uh, cupboard above here. So I'd recommend on, a, on that particular storage, put the items in it that you're not going to access unless you're camping with the slide out fully retracted. Other than that, you can access every single bit of this trailer, which is absolutely fantastic, okay? Now, um, coming in, you walk right into your kitchen, okay? So easy load, um, if you're doing some barbecuing, entertaining outside, those sorts of things, you know, you're not walking through your trailer to get your kitchen, making your floor dirty, that sort of thing, you walk right in, okay? Now, right at your front entryway here, I like what they've done. They've given you a little tabletop here, two drawers, and then shoe storage. It's one of the things in the RV industry that is, I think they've missed out on a lot is, you know, if you are sleeping 10 people or bringing 10 people or six people or whatever, you know, 10 times two, that's 20, pair, uh, 20 shoes, right? Um, they give you a spot for eight shoes. I mean, you can stack. If you've got eight people going with you, every person gets a shoe cubby. You can put a couple pairs of shoes in each of those cubbies. You're not getting that mountain that's piling up at your front door. Okay, so absolutely beautiful. One thing to note, I said two drawers here. There are actually 15 drawers, all plywood construction, ball bearing drawer glide, solid wood, hard, hardwood front, full handle grip. Um, 15 of these drawers throughout various sizes you've got six drawers in your bunk room alone which is fantastic which i'll show you here shortly <clears throat> the living area on this particular floor plan folks a lot of customers really like to have the dinette directly across from your sofa so if you're entertaining on a rainy day 
you got some nice nice flow nice uh, conversation sake with this particular floor plan the other thing your trifold sofa you can option in the theater seating if you so choose this particular one I went with the trifold sofa so it does make into a bed when this sofa is folded out into a bed you still get a really nice walk space at the foot of it to get uh, to get around it um, but it's directly across from your entertainment Okay, that television right there is on an articulating arm. You can pivot it out, angle it in the various different locations, pull it closer to you. You also have to the left of it, your DVD player, Bluetooth stereo, AM FM receiver, all of that built right there. And it's connected to your outdoor speakers as well. So and like I mentioned, Roku TV. So if you've got one at home, if you know what I'm talking about, it's a smart TV. You can download all the apps, your favorite news stations, YouTube, Prime Video, Peer Flix, Netflix, whatever the case is, you can access all of your uh, entertainment viewing choices right through that Roku TV, okay? Now your dinette itself, really cool feature, live edge table. You'll see it's just got a really nice design to it. Real thick and heavy, real solid. And that, it's a, it's a rather large, uh, regular style dinette. It's not a U-shaped dinette, but you could actually very comfortably sit four adults around here. Very, very nice. Also, the tabletop's wide, so you can actually get place settings across from each other. And then you get the big window there as well. Your back cushions, fully reversible. So if you got little ones, they got the cheesy fingers or dirty fingers or what have you, you can spill, spin that around and protect the nice lighter plaid design look. Okay storage underneath all of that now to the back side of your dinette here folks monster pantry monster monster pantry goes right to that outside wall so you can pack a ton of food with you one thing to note folks this is a transcend this is where grand design starts okay they put the same cabinetry same construction same build same cabinet door that an eighty thousand dollar reflection has Okay, I want to spend a little bit of time on this because Grand Design is known for their cabinetry. Okay, a lot of products in the industry, they put MDF, particle board cabinets, doors in, wrapped in paper. This is a solid wood stained door. It's called a shaker door. So it's got a modern contemporary flat panel look. Your typical shaker style door is very cheap. Okay, it doesn't, it's not very strong. What Grand Design does to get that ruggedness out of their ca uh, cabinetry is they reverse raise panel. So there's a little bevel here that bevels out, giving you a thicker panel on the inside. So you've got a very, very solid uh, cabinet door, okay? Um, with a mortise and tenon joint. It's not a picture frame cut. It's a very, very, very residential style cabinet high-end door that you don't typically see at trailers in this price point, okay? Now, one of the things I did heading into the bunk room, folks, this is a residential size double bed. So it's 54 inches wide, 75 inches long. If you've got some bigger kids, if you've got adult sized children, you know, husband and wife coming out to visit or what have you, you know, you can definitely sleep them here comfortably. You get two great big drawers here underneath your bunk, uh, sorry, your, your, your bed here. And then you get the night table on the side of the bed here with USB connections, 110 plug. We know some customers, uh, husband sleeps in one bed, the, uh, the wife sleeps in the other bed. We know that happens sometimes. So again, full residential size double bed to allow for people to have that flexibility. Then you do get the bunk above, which is nice. So you can sleep two people up here quite comfortably. Again, windows all the way around, they fully open. Storage on this side, four drawers, hooks to hang. And then you get that pocket door that will close off here. Nice wide entry. They did that wide entry here so that when the slide out's fully retracted, you could actually access the bunk room, which is nice. And if you want to mount a television in here, you can do that right here. All of the plumbing for it is right up top here. Backer location to mount that bracket to. So, and with this door closed, you actually get a nice little changing area for changing clothes, getting dressed, that sort of thing. So, <clears throat> now one thing that's new for the Transcend 2021.5 folks, 12 volt, eight cubic foot Furion refrigerator. There's no gas to this fridge. It's 12 volt, electric only. This particular fridge, folks, one of the cool things in the specs that I'm reading, it will cool to proper temperature in 1.5 hours, which is fantastic. Most of your gas absorption fridges take up to, you know, they can take eight, 10 hours to get to proper cooling temperature. This one will do it very, very quickly. There's also a setting on it that will do a reduced power draw 
uh, for off-grid style camping. So with that 165 watt solar panel, 25 amp charge controller, the 12 volt refrigerator, you're gonna be able to dry camp in this trailer, no problem. The other major benefit to a electric only fridge, there's no vents on the outside of the trailer to access the back of the fridge. So less chance for bugs to get in, for moisture, for heat to escape, uh, all of those things. So a lot of flexibility, the technology that's in this fridge is just, the technology's gotten so much better that they can start putting fridges like this in. And through Grand Design, they're not just haphazardly putting any old feature in their trailers. They do extensive testing before they will release it to the market. They're not doing market testing. They are testing a lot of the products that go into their trailers prior to shipping it out to dealers lots for people to use. Because again, they don't want to have to pay warranty claims if they don't have to. And if they can save you a bunch of pain uh, by having your trailer tied up in a service department, they're going to make sure that they're doing uh, eliminating a lot of those concerns before they, they ship a trailer. So again, great, great uh, fridge there. So uh, single basin sink. I know I've already shown you this area here, but tons and tons of storage. Coming down to the uh, bathroom here, folks. Uh, actually, before we jump in the bathroom, convenience center right here at your front door. Gas electric, six gallon, 17.8 gallon quick recovery per hour on your hot water heater with both gas and electric on. Absolutely fantastic hot water heater. You've got your tank monitors up here, your battery monitor, uh, slide switch, awning switch, interior light, exterior light, all of those things. Now, one thing I talk, it's just mentioned light. One thing that Grand Design, you'll find if you go into any one of their trailers, your count plugins everywhere. They don't cheap out, okay? The amount of lights they put in, they don't cheap out, okay? One thing as we jump into your bathroom that I'll point out, we've seen a lot of products in the industry, folks, that this particular product would go up against where literally the mirror on the wall or the, the, the vanity on the wall, it's just a mirror screwed to the wall. Grand Design, it's actually like a, a, a cabinet with storage and a mirror and a great handle and storage all the way around, okay? But to the lighting point I was gonna make is that we find a lot of bunk model trailers at a price point, folks, where literally they put one light switch in the trailer at the entryway that'll light up one or two lights in the living area. And in order to turn the lights on everywhere else, they put a little button on the bottom of the light here, be like, click, click. And so if you've got little ones in a bathroom in order to turn the light on to use the toilet at night, sometimes they got to stand on the toilet and they still might not be tall enough. Grand design, they put light switches in. Light switches everywhere. Light switch in your master bedroom, light switch in your bathroom, light switch in your bedroom. So for the little people, they're thinking of them. Flip the switch, just like at home, the light will turn on, okay? Pocket doors here, pocket doors for your master bedroom. But you'll note, this has actually got the same bedroom configuration as what a $60,000 reflection travel trailer will have. A lot of your imagined travel trailers will have this bedroom configuration. So 60 wide by 80 inches long residential size bed. If you don't like the mattress they put on, you can put a go to Costco or uh, any home store and get a mattress topper. It'll fit perfectly. The fitted sheets go around better. It's not that short bed that you find with a lot of products in the industry. One thing they did a little differently, <clears throat> instead of doing hanging storage on each side of the bed, they put the shelves in so you can pack a lot more gear with you storage above of course yes they didn't put the doors on there to save some cost but you do get the extra shelves here which is great and that's on both sides of the bed but you also get a beautiful hanging closet right here in the corner your bed so Yes, they give you shelves on either side of the bed, but you still get the hanger closet here. And then two great big solid drawers here as well. So again, Grand Design going the extra step, their foundation, their structure, their quality, their warranties, the materials and componentry that they use in their products, folks. They're just going the extra step and they support it with the industry leading three year structural warranty. And um, yeah, that's, that's it, like this is the 297 QB. I absolutely love it. This would actually work perfectly for, uh, for my family. And uh, we'd love to host you down to our dealership here at Woody's RV World in Leduc, your number one selling grand design dealership in Alberta. This is what we carry here. And uh, yeah, we're back inside. It's uh, winter time outside, so we're shooting videos from the inside of our beautiful dealership here in Leduc. So again, my name is Clayton Phillips, sales manager here at the dealership. 
give us a call, 780-986-1234. Very easy number. Give us an email, uh, shoot us a text, and uh, love to host you at our dealership here at uh, Woody's RV in Leduc. Thanks for your time. Take care and happy camping. Be safe.